warm welcome to this season. Well, a warm welcome to this CGTN live stream. My name is Omar Khan, and I am joined by the splendid, the wonderful Li Zhenhua. Uh -huh. Thank we you very much. We are here in the southern city of Shantou, which is located in Guangdong province. And as you can probably see behind me, we're on a construction site of a major uh, stadium infrastructure project. Zhenhua, mm -hmm. we've spent about two days here exploring uh, uh -huh. this venue, this site. Uh, maybe you can tell the viewers a bit more about what's happening here in Shantou. Uh, yeah, as you said, this is basically a construction site and this place is about to host the third edition of the Asian Youth Games and this is a place where this thing will happen. This it's massive be... event is going to happen yeah. just for those tuning in. Obviously, this event uh, is, held, is being held later in the year in around November from the 20th to the 28th uh -huh. as things are still under construction uh, we got a quick tour of it yesterday we even climbed to the top of the roof uh -huh. they have two stadiums uh, a massive facility uh, covering uh, several hundred thousand square meters in size mm -hmm. a swimming pool basketball courts uh, football uh, pitches we're going to be exploring that later mm -hmm. uh, today in our live stream but i do want to discuss something a bit more yeah. this is a part of our tides of change series mm -hmm. today is our last day i just want to get that your is quick... uh, day 13 for day us. 13 if, uh, and if you have been following us and we know that we have finished the hainan island hainan down in the south and also guangxi drawn autonomous street Correct. into our left yes if you're looking at the map at this point and well, now as you said we have arrived in, in guangdong. guangdong yes huh? and just to give our, for those loyal viewers who've been following our journey what's mm -hmm. your experience been like just quickly before we dive into the stadium uh my experience for over the past two weeks over the past two weeks tides uh -huh. have changed anything stood out to you uh i think that is hainan i mean saying yeah that is the f uh, place where we started we kick started everything and you guys went for scuba diving scuba diving surfing and also the thing okay i, I think uh that is one of the live streams that i love the most and that was the uh, mangrove forest you guys just so filmed that in Guangxi. You were yeah. stuck in the mud. Only like four days ago, we were stuck in the mud and we're exploring mangrove forests. And though it was, we were basically rolling around the mud and we saw so many different marine creatures. That was fantastic. lovely, fantastic. So you've gone from a natural environment to a construction site, the venue yeah. of the uh, Youth Asian Games. Let's youth Asian Games. And the, probably let's uh, have a look at the panel view of this construction site. This is sort of the projected, uh, finalized... Uh, yeah. map or legend of what this site is going to look like. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard later in uh, the, in June in and June. July yeah. uh, final completion of this project will be coming. Now let's, let's take a be, look. Yeah, it will be finished by summer and if we look at the, uh, and this is the air review, yes. view of the stadium. And we're, we're about right here, and I would we say. we are about right yeah, here. Yeah, we came in through I this door. That way. Yeah, we should be standing here at this point. Yes. And if we look at the structure, from above, it is very much like waves, the wave-like structure of this stadium, which is very different, and that totally fits in the concept of Chantal, maritime, maritime development of Shantou. We can see the, the yeah. ocean is just right here. The ocean in that so way. So it's a seaside. Yeah, we started that. We started the live stream with that. The sea aerial view. view. Yeah, the aerial view of the sea over there, and we are here. So, yeah. so we can see. Obviously, you have the main football pitch. This is where mm -hmm. the opening ceremony. Will take place. You obviously have training grounds, mm -hmm. uh, and then as we, go I ahead. guess that is uh, the swimming pool will be here, right? Olympic the size swimming pavilion. pool. That is one of the sports yeah. uh, that will be taking place here. Now let's swing to the left here, Zhenhua. And that is the athletes village over here, I guess. And those are the dormitories. The, uh, that possibly, still, yes. Yeah, that's still under construction. And once that completed, I really hope that we can bring our viewers there to take a this peek is, into those. This you is mean so the decorations and everything? Absolutely, something yeah. later this year in November, hopefully, the CGTN yeah. team yeah. can come and explore. Absolutely. You know, these could possibly be also the Athletes Village. I'm not too sure exactly where. This looks more like a resort. This Maybe is like a resort visitors. for visitors properly. And this whole area, I think that is for athletes. See Perhaps. the tall buildings. Do you know how many? Uh, people will come over, athletes will come over for the event. I know there's 45 countries participating, uh -huh. but mm -hmm. I don't know the exact number. I think we're going to have a few guests That's right. later in today's live stream. That also depends on how the temp pandemic goes, you know. If uh, it is contained all around the world yeah. by then, by summer, and basically there should be more athletes coming over right. to this place. That but we, what we know is 45 countries. 45 countries for from the first all edition, across Asia. It was 43. 
Well, the first edition was 2009 in Singapore. Yeah, and then for the second one, Ningbo, 2013, 2013. in Ningbo. Fun fact, the 2025 edition yeah. is going to be held in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. That's in four mm. years' time. Yeah. Again, we're hoping the world is a lot easier to travel around. And that's a major question about this event. Like mm -hmm. you said, how will participants, how will their families, how will spectators be able They'll to spend their time here even getting in and yeah. that's something we've asked organizers mm -hmm. they're still working on that and mm -hmm. that's something we'll only know once we get down to november and probably all the uh, athletes who come over here will should be vaccinated should, should you get vaccinated, vaccinated yourself uh, i plan <laughs> really Your personal plan. question Doha. i plan <laughs> to get vaccinated uh maybe the day after tomorrow as i make the my day way after back. tomorrow the same for I'll me i'll be back in guangzhou tomorrow and i can get my vaccine yeah. so and you you'll be I'll, vaccinated i'll be going back to shanghai i'll get vaccinated the first shot Fantastic. Two doses. Okay. And probably uh, the, uh, all the athletes, when they come over here, we don't know at this point, they would be quarantined. Maybe. Again, that's what and I that mean. that depends on the policy. We, we don't know exactly. Yeah. Okay. okay. Are we walking backwards or are and we going to get the cameraman to swing around here? Going I think we should get the, the cameraman yeah. to get in front of us because walking mm -hmm. backwards is a bit hard. Yeah. All right. So we're at this major site. Youth, youth we, Asian Youth Games. Youth so let's Asian come back Games. To the point. Let's come back to the point. We're on uh -huh. this massive construction site. Let's be careful mm -hmm. with this lying on the ground here uh how many square meters was it we did the math earlier yeah. before the live stream how big was that over uh, i remember it was around 200 plus thousand square meters it's in that size big. and we have been covering sports events for yes a we have of times yeah. already and we have no so by making comparisons do you think this one this stadium is really big well from the numbers we've seen, the main uh -huh. stadium here. Uh -huh. I hope our sound is good. Construction is still underway. Yeah, this, if, we, if we turn our camera around, let's see. Can see oh, it. he's we going up. He's going up. It. There's going literally up. a lift okay. right here. <laughs> but tell you what, we, we, we're going to be getting into the stadium yeah. quite soon. It has a capacity of around 20,000 seats for spectators. So you've seen stadiums in China and across it. And China Africa. and abroad in Africa. Yeah. yeah, that was also a stadium you know, sponsored by China. It was. I think around this big, and similar we we're talking size. about 22,000 seats okay. in the stadium, similar size, and the top is open, basically the same. It was very much like a clown, you know? Every stadium these days has a major yeah. design or theme around it. They have their own features. They have their own features, and okay. And themes that depends on which country or which region we're talking Careful. about. Because this is a coastal city, so definitely yes. waves, sea yeah. elements. I, I'm not sure which way I should be looking. I keep turning around. I don't, this is a bit dangerous for us to walk backwards. But yeah, this one, as you mentioned at the mm -hmm. beginning, at the top, is designed over a wave. So you have an aquatic sort of feel yeah. design. It's really hard to see at this moment. Maybe our aerial footage can showcase that sort of wavy rooftop, mm -hmm. which we were on top of yesterday. Yep. Now, you had mentioned different stadiums I've seen. I think 22,000 is a modest number. It's not massive, but remember, this is the Youth Asian Games. And you have, seen, you have seen stadiums, you know, four times this big. Four, I've seen stadiums ranging up to 100,000 yeah. uh, uh, seating capacity this mm -hmm. is in Spain, in the UK, uh, all over the world, actually. But I think given that these games are for mm -hmm. youth, Four to age between 14 and 17 yeah. uh, years of age inclusive. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's not that premier massive event, but it is mm -hmm. an opportunity for young folks to get together mm -hmm. uh, and compete in Especially a friendly way. Here. Yeah. I mean, Especially. when it comes to the Asian youth game, there will be tons of athletes coming over to this place. Yeah. You know, this place is connected to Southeast Asia. Easy to get in Easy and out, to yeah. get the, uh, we call it people to people exchanges, people especially among to, young people. Yes. Now of we have course. a special guest joining us. And we us. have a special guest. Welcome to our program. Yeah. Welcome. Okay. Yeah. 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 Would you like to say hi to our viewers hey, around the world? Hi. 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 Okay, of course, yeah. uh, if you have any questions for me and Omar, you can leave comments a comment right on now. Facebook I'll check the comments and also now. our guest over here. And then, so tell us more about the Asian Games. And we have seen that you have something. The mascot. The mascot. Very special. What is it about? Give us a little This is our Let me uh, open it. This is a struggle. You know, building a stadium is easier than opening this box. <laughs> Okay, right. so this is the mascot of this event, which is about to happen at the end of this year. It looks very interesting. What's it's uh, like a flower. This is the city flower of this city, the flower of You can see the petals over here, stamens. 
And pistols. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the bristles. I'm, not, I'm trying to think of the word to describe these. But the so stems. Like this. The stems. Oh, yeah. And the petals Beautiful. are here. Uh -huh. And the petals are here. And this is the city flower, as we said. And also the design. This is red and yellow. We got, and the, lo we got the logo the right here. Maybe we can get a close-up. That's the logo. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can give it a close so the sun tow the hong tow chuan. Ah, all the red sun tow the sun. They call this the red head boat. What things were like a shark and why he was shy of one seed. So with, uh, there's a connection with oversized Chinese, overseas expat, right? Chinese communities, mm -hmm. and that's what Shanto is sort of incorporating as a theme to bring people together. Mm. Very cute. Let's that's very the, cute. This is running, as you can tell. If I turn it around, it's a sport it's event. Of yeah. course, it's running. Very sporty. Look at me, I'm athletic. running right now, too. I got a really nice <laughs> spot yeah. here. So it's I'm, like this. Be yeah. careful. Looking to my right. I yeah. think it's good. That is lovely. All right, fantastic. Ah. Shall we take a gander with our guest? Yeah, of course. Let's take a let's take a walk and we'll get into the stadium. Yeah, we'll get into the stadium probably. Let's uh, keep moving. Okay, let's as, go. Uh, as we talk about the Asian youth games. So tell us more about the uh, concept and all the themes about this event. So that is about youth and vitality and also about cultural, cultural exchanges. exchanges. Yeah, I heard, yeah, I, 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 I heard that, now, yes. Right? The young people, let's move around that way. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, there will be tons of cultural activities happening here during the event. It's sort, of, sort of a sidebar yeah, to the sort of sporting events. events. People can yeah, learn about Shanto, about Guangdong. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. very, very standard. And anything else? Have you seen anything else? Uh, and our digital innovation. At this time, new technologies, new materials, new materials will be able to show up in this event. Some new technologies. And will be used here. 8K sort 8K, of production. I've yeah, read about that. Artificial intelligence. 5G. Uh, yeah. Can you further elaborate uh, on that? Will be in place. Uh -huh. My signal is not the greatest right now, but hopefully by that time it will be good. Now we know that we have 45 countries can participate in this event. Yes. 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 Yes.
，我们的氛围非常好。OK， 氛围非常好，就是环境非常好。Atmosphere is really good for sports. Environmentally appealing, perhaps. How how did you feel about it when I first landed here? And I felt there were so many slogans about this event, the Asian Youth Games everywhere. Well, it's being held in about five yeah. months. I would yeah. expect the and they, promotion. And they have this a countdown sign. Yeah, two hundred. On the streets, about two hundred days. 还有两百，还有两百天。两百多天吧。两百多天。Okay. 差不多，对。差不多。About two hundred days away. Two hundred forty, two hundred fifty days, something like that. Mm. Of course, when you come here, we're staying on Nanao Dao, Nanao yeah. Island. And you can see it's extremely green, extremely environmentally engaging. Yeah. So it's kind of fitting to have this event here in Shantou. How about some other elements like the economy? I mean, Shantou is one of the richest islands probably in China. Guangdong, remember, a leading uh -huh. province in terms of uh, economy. economic power. That is the economic powerhouse of, of China. China. Yes. I mean, when it comes to the GDP, the provincial GDP, Guangdong is usually the top number one. For the one. past three decades, past if three I recall decades, correctly, yeah. Guangdong has been the leading province. Because they say the forefront of China's Reform and opening it, up. I knew you were going to get to that topic. I knew you were going to mention that. Yeah. So this is a very rich island. Do you think that economy plays a key role in hosting this event? You think that because our economy is good, so it's possible that we can host this event. Is one of the reasons why we are going to host this event. Is one of the reasons why we are going to host this event. Is one of the reasons why we are going to host this event. Is one of the reasons why we are going to host this event. 它的体育设施基础很好， uh, 而且我们有非常丰富的办赛经验。Uh, 但是我认为最重要的，汕、uh, 头是一个球乡，它在滑球啊，它、uh, 在滑、uh, 海海外呢非常众多的滑球。Uh, 我们非常优秀的传统文化， uh, 良好的城市形象， uh, 在整个亚洲是深得人心的。Uh, so, so they have enough facilities to host the event. Also, they are very experienced in hosting such. Event. Yes, and also this is a place where, as you said just now, Lots there was a overseas, huge Chinese yeah. communities overseas. So, so is it this good chance for for this event to gather all of the Chinese expats who are living at this point abroad to come over to Shantou for this celebration? So, you think it's also a good chance for all the Chinese expats to come over to Shantou for this celebration? So, you think it's also a good chance for all the Chinese expats to come over to Shantou for this celebration? So, you think it's also a good chance for all the Chinese expats to come over to 亚洲各国的紧密的联系也体现在这里。跟这些东盟国家是吗？对。So of course, being located in Shantou, you're pretty much at the gateway to Southeast Asia and the ASEAN community. So I think there will also be eventually a, a bit of a ASEAN Southeast Asian connection. But I, remember, it's a youth Asian game, so we have countries as far as Lebanon, Afghanistan. So it's not just Southeast Asia; it's an opportunity. It's Asia as a whole. Yeah, it's Asia as a whole. Let's keep that in mind. Forty-five countries. Southeast Asia is not doesn't reach that many nations. Yeah, fantastic. I think we've okay. got to a mm. decent understanding where it's time for us to actually yeah. go down. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Phoenix, Golden wow. Phoenix baby. baby. No, Golden, Golden Phoenix baby. That's what we call it. Jin or what do we call it again in Chinese? Jin Feng Wa. Jin Feng Wa. Jin Feng Wa. Okay, Golden Phoenix baby. Golden Phoenix baby. Oh. Or Golden Phoenix Wa. That's lovely. That's what I want to call it. Yeah, and I'm that is getting my tones yeah, wrong. Yeah, and that is only a we, mascot. Before we, have. we get down, can we leave it with our producer over here? Can someone, someone can take this from us? Someone take our baby. Yeah. Someone. Okay. <laughs> before we head down, our baby. Uh, in case there's people just joining our live stream now, myself and Jian Hua. Part yep. of our Tides of Change special series, we're here in Shantou, which is a coastal city in the province of Guangdong. We are looking at the venue, the main site of the 2021 Youth Asian Games, which will be held here mm -hmm. between November 20th and 28th later this year. 45 countries will be here. Uh, th uh, 3,000 participants, youth athletes aged mm -hmm. between 14 and 17, mm -hmm. will be taking part in 18 different sporting disciplines. Yeah. Over 160 plus events. I think I got all the info out there in one yeah, go. Yeah, a recap Pretty for good. all the info Pretty that good. we have There's got. There's an update for those. And we have got some comments here. That Let's do the comments. Like, welcome to Shantou. Apparently, he okay. is from here. And also, we have got so that is Army Han. Hi to everyone. Stay, Stay safe. safe all. We're safe. Yeah, we are safe, definitely. But later, we're going to go into the uh, stadium. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I want to check out the comments. I'm playing it. Okay. Okay. And so that oh. Dusty Bauer, this guy on the left side, have some coffee. He's yeah, he's excited to be here, of course. Wait. And so Dusty I'm on Bauer. The left side, yeah. yeah. Dusty Bauer is our loyal friend. I think Dusty has been here 
I've seen your name before for our mm. previous live streams. Oh, Dusty Bauer Game Phoenix, like the Beijing airport and like the temples oh, oh, over there. Yes. Okay, Phoenix uh, is like the Beijing airport. Yeah, the design. Airport, uh, it's like the design Daxing of the airport, airport from Daxing above. Airport, the, the airport. Have you been there before? No, I, I usually don't I fly that. I think the Airport is like a butterfly. Is this a phoenix? It's a gold, I'm pretty sure it's a golden phoenix. It's a phoenix, I did, okay. I actually was there reporting okay. on the construction of it. And you also ago. interviewed someone who has the same name as mine, right? I, I remember so. that. Everyone okay, has okay, lovely. Name. <laughs> okay, let's, okay, let's go inside into, into the, the stadium. actual venue. Okay. Uh, I think viewers can see both from our aerial footage and from our two cameras here. Yeah. This now is the main football cutting, pitch. Maybe now let's can uh, let's cut drone into footage. our drone footage let's so that, that you can going. see the panoramic view of this whole place. And this place has around 22,000 22, spectator let's, seats. Let me just over check here. the seats here. The seats. Sorry, my mic is falling out here. Let's get interactive. Uh, these. Can you turn it on? Oh, we're gonna break oh, we this. Oh, we can't. So We're gonna break these, it. These, these were made somewhere else, and they were transported here, right? That I want to ask you if all of the yeah. uh, is yeah. it all domestically produced? Again, remember this. It should this, be domestically produced. I'm mean, gonna assume guess. it's gonna be domestically yeah. produced. And Quick. this chair, I really want to flip I, I, it. I suggest we around, don't but play it with the chairs. Work. These will be for the 22,000 spectators, friends and families. They should be new. They we'll should be, be kept new. All right, okay. let's, uh, let's find our next guest. Let's okay. get up. Careful. You want to jump? Do I have to? Do I have to? Okay. Oh, this way, we're going to... I guess we're going this way. Oh, hello. We're looking We're looking right here. Let's... We're looking at a different camera We have now. so many cameras, okay. guys. We have so now many angles Now let's move here. forward. Let's and move we forward. have a guest, Mr. Zhao here. Hello. Welcome hello. to our hello. 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 Would you like to say hi, hi again? Hello. Hello, viewers. Hello. 大家好。啊,我是这个中介八局亚青卫场馆项目的赵林伟。啊,负责这个场馆的这个建设工作。So ah, ah, he is in charge of this. He is basically the uh, project manager of yes. the venue. Okay, so tell us more about this venue. I know that this place is huge. It's ginormous. <笑>这个选项多多多少平方米? <笑> 237.25。237.25。所以十四点六四万。我们一直觉得conversion. So waves and sandy beaches are incorporated into the design of the yes. stadium, as we said just now. And everyone is now busy, and we know this place, this venue, will be completed by summer. summer. So June. now this is April already. You have like two May. months to go. Usually it takes around three to five years to finish everything. How long did it take you already? We did the construction. We only used for twenty-two months. Twenty-two months. I heard that we were going to open the event yesterday. You said last year during the pandemic, you were going to open the event. 还是不听的工作，是吗？对对对，疫情的时候，我们我先反映一下。This is something I remember we were talking about yesterday. Of course, when the epidemic began last year, they actually were not affected. They worked through it, obviously with the proper health and safety protocols in place, but they were not truly affected by that. So that's pretty impressive that construction can keep going through that time period. Twenty-four-seven，twenty-four-seven。他们特别辛苦啊。对，是比较辛苦，而且高峰期我们整个现场的工人达到了两千名。Around the average, you know, age is around 28. That's a young workforce. That is, yeah, That's young, a young workforce. workforce. I mean, for the managerial team. Okay, we're, uh, I think we were reaching about 
25 minutes right now in this mm. Tides of Change live stream. How about we get down there, Jianhua? I think I think we we can. 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 都是国内，都是国内的，啊、没有什么进口的设备吗？哎、啊，有有一些进口，像音响系统啦，这些系统有些是进口的设备。啊、so there is some 音音响系统，它那边的音响系统是进口的。啊、okay, 对，音响系统包括、okay. 包括我们这个墙面的话，也是这个清水混凝土的墙面。啊、uh, ，He would like to introduce us to the,、uh, you know, the concrete wall of here. I know, as for viewers, you guys are probably thinking, wow, it's just a wall, but there's something special behind it. 对，它直接是用混凝土一次浇筑成型，然后避免了后期我们在刷涂料了这些这些刷涂料的工作，我们避免了。然后它整个的观感质量特别好。它一方面是节省了这个，避免了这个废物，呃，这个建筑废弃材料。啊，它这个绿色环保的一个施工工艺。So this was made once and for all. You know, there was no decoration, no extra material used on the wall surface, but you see, it is very smooth. Okay. Yeah. So this I think is that is something very special about it. Quite environmentally. It's right. environmentally sort of yeah. initiative to not. And that is the uh, concept of this uh, whole event that's yeah. low carbon, environmentally friendly, and no no extra material as is yeah. evidence here. I think when uh, yesterday when we were on Nanao uh, Island, you see a lot of these wind powered farms, a lot of these turbines. Uh, on the coast here, obviously the wind comes into the city, so that could be one way that uh, Shanto is planning、yeah. uh, to increase its sort of energy capacity. So that's one sort of green energy concept. That's true. Without further ado, let's get down. 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 Cameraman、yeah. is—he's a hero. Careful,、hero. we need to walk slowly so、yes. that they can follow up. Let's go down. Yeah, and, and we need to tell our viewers actually there was a whole team behind us, supporting us, behind us, behind us, and around probably 15 people working behind us. You know. Are you okay going down? Shall I hold your hand? Are you okay? Are you, Are you okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> let's, okay. Let's go down. Let's go down. No, I, I'm okay. I, I, I'm stable here. Like grandma. As, <laughs> not that we haven't revealed that. Hey, we're the same age, same month. Yeah, we are. I remember. Yeah, okay, we so we're getting down、age. to the main pitch. Obviously, you can see right now it's all, it's all asphalt.、Mm, the football pitch, where the turf, or astro turf, or artificial grass will be placed. Right now, it's all sand.、Uh, but we got to figure out what is what the layers are going to be. What is the material?、Uh -huh. And let's、so、go take a look. So this is still under construction, and there is no door for us. And then we're gonna、so、get in there, climb in, get in there. Okay. 它整个这个看台的话， oh, 也全部是预制的， okay. 就它的看台不是在现场制作的。啊、uh, ，so you don't make it on site and everything has been made already and transported here。我们利用了一种叫 beam 的技术，啊、uh, uh, ，把这个整个现场这个模型给建造出来， uh, 然后在工厂里面通过预制把这种看台预制预制出来，然后拉到现场进行吊装。每块看台都有独立的编号。而且这个观感质量也是特别好，也没有任何的装饰面。Uh, okay. 也是一种绿色环保的施工技术。So this, they have this modeling software that is called BIM. B I M. B I M. They call it BIM. Building information modeling. modeling. Yes, it's a software. Okay,、yes. and then two constructors virtually to and make it everything work,、okay. and then they start to build it physically here. And I think he said he they bring the pieces here, and、yeah. then it's installed. 对，在工厂制作。Yeah, for all the chairs.、Uh -huh. 来到这里，对，来到这里。That's something very new and special. 这是很特殊的吗？对，这是一个预制的，也是现在我们绿色环保的一种施工理念。它节省了工期，呃，然后然后它的模板材料也节省了，因为它整个是在工厂里面制作，所以那些污染物、建筑废弃物也减少了。啊，还有很多好处。And all of the waste, you know, wouldn't be left here. Yeah, in the future, of course, this will be a multi-purpose facility. Let's go take a look. 我们去看一下。Let's go take a look at. 这里正在进行这个沥青的摊铺工作。我想问一下，这是哪个跑步场是吗？对，这是这个是沥青摊铺车。对啊，我我知道这这是这个是跑步场。对，这是它的跑步田径场。哇哦！然后这上面完工了之后。上面是什是什么？再要做这个预制的跑道。呃、uh, ，是 what material is that? Clay, clay. Yeah. So this is 这边上面还有一层，还有一层，还有一层那个沥青层，那个那个水平多高？啊，它这里这个会会要多高？铺多高？啊，它的沥青层就铺到跟这边一样高就可以了。OK。然后到上面的上面的这个跑道的话，会有另外的厚度要求。我们这个整个这个赛场这个环场这个跑道，啊，它的厚度呢，就是它的预制的那个塑胶跑道厚度是十三毫米。啊， so for the thickness of the clay on top of the asphalt, it'll、yeah. be around thirteen millimeters. Thirteen millimeters. Thirteen millimeters. 塑胶跑道。That is one 
mm, centimeter and three millimeter. Let me say probably like this but thing. But this is a sort of good insight for all of you people yeah. who love sports and even athletes yourselves. This is what goes behind at creating where you're going to compete, where yeah. you're going to be playing sports. This is sort of the raw, broken down version of what happens. I don't know if the any of the athletes uh, even know. watching at this point. Yeah. If you are watching and this is the venue that you You'll are going to compete in. Yeah. in. You mean the uh, 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 Okay, let's move over. Well, the smell is quite... It's strong. It's quite strong. Yeah, I hope our signal at this is point. working for our viewers. I mean, we, we only have like two months to go, right? And I can feel this, uh, the odor is quite strong. And then what can you do to get rid of the odor and the smell? you know, we did some research just now and we said it's Astro turf or astro -turf. Artificial grass. Artificial grass. So, so real grass, how long can it last? I mean, for the football competition. Yes, for, and it's going to be softer. Probably for each game. And then we need to change water the grass. No, no, and then you don't have to change. Do? You just have to water it and you have to maintain it. And it can grow so the well, next day. I, 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 I'm so sorry to, to sort of cut you off here. We're yeah. reaching 35 minutes. I'm, I'm being cued right now. Let's, let's wrap things up. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go back a bit because let's I think we have some signal bit. issues. Okay. Let's go back. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let's end things right here. Woman okay. quite uh, 老师, we're quite just so that's Okay. So it's been quite an informative, informative it's just experience. You know, there was so about much this. information about let's end it right this here venue with our with our cameraman. I think we can cut to him. Okay. So can you see us now? Can you over see here? us now? I hope you guys okay. can see us. So we've been talking about this whole football pitch, and we're talking about grass. Grass, and asphalt, that is real grass. thickness of the material, yeah. the green technology being put into And also that place, the uh, sand pit for long jump. Far. That is too far. Well, there is a long, long jump uh, pit over. There's a few of them. Yeah. Uh, there is so much to include. I would like to talk about probably at the end of it. The TV like screen over there. The the monitor. This is our one. The one that is the 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 for your time. All right, Thank folks, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream on behalf uh, of me, Omar Khan, and my partner uh, here, Li Zianhua. We're here in Shantou. Make sure later this year mm -hmm. to check out the games which are happening in November. Uh, and this is our last day of Tides of Change. We have one more live stream later today. And that's what we call it the pen off with, as we said just awesome. now. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> last to the second. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.